Hello, this is the first of what will probably be the two shortest videos I'll ever make. In these, I'm looking at how we can align buttons at the bottom of columns where the content or the height of that content is not equal in them. In this first video, I'm taking a look at the pricing table where the solution is largely baked into the module. I'm just adding in a CSS tweak for mobile views. And in the next video, I'll be looking at how we can do the same with regular Beaver Builder columns. And you won't necessarily need to use the button module if you want to align something else, then that will work as well. There are blog posts that go with both of these where I'll probably cover more detail in these than I do in the videos. I'm just aware that most people are likely to see my YouTube videos. So here is a pricing table and by default, if you're adding more features to one of the columns here, it's not going to be lined up and equalized. And this can look a little bit messy, particularly with the call out buttons. So the fix as mentioned is in there. If you go to the styles tab and to the bottom, you'll see that we have a features minimum height. And you might have to play with this a little bit and you can only use pixel values. So best thing is just, just quickly adjust until you get to the break point and things stack just to make sure that everything is working fine. But I know mine is 320. And there we are, it's fixed that it just leaves a bit of space between the button and the last feature. The only issue I have with this, and perhaps this will be changed in Beaver Builder, is that when you do go to the mobile breakpoint and everything is stacked, you still have that space by default. And it doesn't make much sense to someone who's on a mobile who's not seen the reason for that space. So there is a solution, and that's just to zero out that minimum height and set it back to the default. And I'm just going to do that now by going into Control and Y and bringing up our layout CSS. I'm gonna keep it here so maybe you'll see. And I've got it in my clipboard. So I'm just gonna paste that. There we are, we've zeroed it out. So that's the solution there. Now with this, you may not need to use all of these selectors. I used them all, so we didn't need to use important. And it depends where you're placing your CSS. Of course, this is going to apply to all pricing modules, but I'm sure you'll probably want that. But if you don't, then you're going to need to put in your own selector and swap that out. And of course, if you've changed the breakpoints, you're going to have to change that as well because it's a media query. But otherwise, this is just going to work out of the box. Hope that was useful. If you did like this, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube as it encourages me. Anyway, thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.